Let's talk about rose petal tea. Exceptional for anxiety, depression, sleep. Also helps with, it's a, because it's antiviral, antibacterial, on and on. Anti-inflammatory. You got to check this out. Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist. Get healthy now. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist. Today I want to talk about rose petal tea. This is really good stuff. You can make it flavored whatever you want, but it really does a great job with anxiety, depression, uh, sleep. And also, it's anti-inflammatory. Uh, helps with just about everything in the body. Powerful antioxidant also. But before we get into that, if you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up. Please tell other people. Please subscribe. Please share. I want to reach that 100,000, you know, mark of the subscribers. And we, I can do it only with you. And if you really enjoy what I do, please watch those little ads in the front because they bring us a little money our way to me and my wife. We appreciate that greatly. Also check out my website at paulhater.com. And there's tons of information there. Lots of videos, lots of uh, articles. You will... <laughs> have a lifetime of stuff to peruse. Really great stuff. Well, rose petal tea. This is absolutely wonderful. Uh, doesn't have a lot of flavor, but beautiful color. These are red roses, but by the time you heat them up and, you know, it kind of diffuses into the water, they become kind of white. And it really has a huge amount of abilities to heal the body in great way. Super relaxing, sedative, helps with depression, helps with sleep, anxiety. If you have anxiety, there are so many people with anxiety. And this is super cheap. If you're growing organic, you know, uh, wonderful roses in their yard, you can just pick off the petals and th throw it into a, a glass and add some uh, hot water and you've got a wonderful tea. Doesn't cost you anything. That is fantastic. It also contains just about all the vitamins, A, B, C, D, uh, also B vitamins. Also, there's a wonderful amount of antioxidants. There's 300 constituents in the actual tea itself. Just amazing for healing the body. It also Powerful. has a huge amount of antioxidant polyphenols like you find in green tea and other things. Just amazing for we're reversing the aging process. Also, is a great antiviral. Also, even blocks the yellow fever virus from replicating. So, man, that's a big deal. So, if you want to, you know, in this day and age right now with all the viruses, you want to be drinking your, you know, rose petal tea for sure. And there are a lot of clinical trials going on. There is a huge amount of very interesting scholarly scholarly articles which really show that rose petal tea is amazing. It helps with relaxation, also helps with sexual dysfunction, antioxidants, antimicrobial. Uh, it's a probiotic also, uh, antipyritic, uh, helps with muscle relaxation, lowers lipids in the body, on and on and on. It also helps with preventing cancer because all those Amazing anti-cancer agents, antioxidants. Also amazing antibacterial. It helps with E. coli, uh, club CL, on and on and on. If you have something going on, maybe in your gut or maybe somewhere in your body, you want to take some rose petal tea for sure. Powerful anti-inflammatory agent. And also works on the skin if you want to make it into an ointment or a cream. And really good for eczema, psoriasis, you know, all kinds of skin problems in general. Rose tea also, you can rub it on your skin. It's really great for helping to get speed up wound healing. So if you have some, a wound that's not healing, try some rose petal tea Studies on Studies show that also helps with asthma. If you have asthma, you want to drink some of this. It seems to get rid of the inflammation and uh, the oxidative stress and really helps with asthma in general. I highly recommend it. Also be used as a sunburn agent. You know, it really helps with that because it's anti-inflammatory. Also, it's a great diuretic. If you have, you know, holding on to a little water weight, you want to drink your rose tea for sure. Also, it's a very good decongestant. You know, if you have, you know, phlegm or anything like that, 
uh, your passages are all stuffed up. You want to take some of this rose tea. Used for thousands of years in Chinese medicine for menstrual disorders, diarrhea, uh, GI distress, all kinds of pain, all kinds of things. And it also does help, help in a great way with pain because if you get rid of the inflammation, the pain goes away too. Around the world, they make great drinks with it, with the coconut milk and all kinds of things. Indonesia, uh, Malaysia, uh, really beautiful smelling and uh, tasty drinks that are really Around great. the world, they also use it for calming, hysteria, and that type of thing is very soothing and calming really good for their mind body process some people even make it into preserves and syrups all kinds of things any way you can get it into your body is really good and making some of the tea and pouring it into your bath wow really great very astringent helps to get rid of the inflammation in your skin also very soothing healing cooling really great in general for inflammation on your whole body you sit there and soak Fantastic. Also great for dandruff and itchy scalp, uh, all kinds of different things. It really is fantastic for the hair also. And they make it into per perfumes and soaps and all kinds of different things. Uh, rose water is amazing in general and rose tea is fantastic. Also make it into cleaning solutions <laughs> if you add some rose tea uh, to a little bit of Epsom salts, and you use that for cleaning around the house too. Rose tea, it's a powerful agent that most people have forgotten about. If you have anxiety, depression, sleepless nights, you might want to drink some rose tea. It may change your life forever. Also, if you have some kind of process going on, you have some kind of disease going on, give me a call at 831-869-9119, 831-869-9119. Nine one one nine. No, I had a person the other day. We I made a couple tweaks to their regiment every day. They had long C virus, and uh, well, it's gone, and no pain, no suffering. Uh, have energy again, and we can do that for you too. No reason to suffer. Call me at eight three one eight six nine nine one one nine. You know what? Most people are cocooning themselves not good. Uh, you have to remember God, remember I love you, and get out and bring in more friends. It's really important to have as many friends as possible. We have a friend, he, every week he takes somebody to lunch. And it could be a very inexpensive lunch. The food is not the important thing. The camaraderie, the love that's shared, that's the important thing. And when you make friends, sometimes it for, it's forever. I have friends I've known for 40, 50 years and going on and still going. And they will make your life better. There's no doubt about it. Increase your friends. I love you.